king and queen against a king. Now this is important. In the other uh, checkmates, you've had two pieces to work with and they can go off and checkmate the king all by themselves. You can't checkmate a king just with a queen. So you're gonna need the help of your own king. And because you've got less firepower, this is gonna be a little bit longer, a little bit harder. And we also need to watch out for our stalemates again. So the first thing we're gonna do is not do blind checking. Um, <coughs> we're gonna make a fence. So there's the fence and the king moves. And now we need to bring our king up, something like this. And now the, uh, lots of ways of doing this, but we'll drive the king back with a, uh, a check. So the queen's protected by the king. If you ever move the queen next to the king, it has to be protected by your own king. And uh, we've made not just a fence, we actually made a cage. We made a, uh, uh, we're cutting off the king into that little corner. Uh, so the king moves down, we move our king up, and we move our king up. And where's the king gonna go? Well, the king in that position had to go to the edge of the board. Now, there are different checkmates that we can do, but they all happen at the edge of the board. Let me show you the checkmates. This is what we're aiming for. Um, there's a checkmate like this, checkmate at the edge of the board. There's a checkmate like this, a checkmate in the corner. And the last sort of checkmate that we get is a checkmate like this. The king is stopping the king coming forward in the way that a rook or a queen might have done last time, but it's very similar to the sorts of mates that we've seen before. Uh, the king only needs to control these squares. It doesn't have to control everything on this row, but it's the same sort of checkmate as you've seen before. So those are the sorts of checkmates that we're aiming for. Okay. So um, we've just moved so that the king has hit the edge of the board. Now that's very important. And when the king hits the edge of the board, you try and keep it there. Now, can you see a move that is, but from the, for the queen that's going to keep the king on the edge of the board? You have to move, or you can't, the best move is to uh, G2. Um, we've made a fence at the edge of the board. The king is trapped onto those uh, red squares. And now we can bring our own king up and checkmate. Uh, king at H5, king F5. Queen g6 is one of the, the mates that we uh, we looked at earlier. If the king had come, um, maybe instead of to h5, if the king had come to h7, we'll go and chase it with our own king. King h6, and that's our other mate. Um, king h6, we've actually got this mate as well. And uh, if the after king to f6, the king had gone in the corner, that's our corner mate. All right. So drive the king to the edge of the board, and when it reaches the edge of the board, you trap it, and then you deliver checkmate. What could be easier? Well, it could be easier if there wasn't the worry, worry of, uh, of stalemate. So in this position, the king's hit the edge of the board, and I can quite imagine that you'd want to bring your king up and deliver checkmate. So if you could move the queen to this square, it would be checkmate. So why not bring your king up to f6, the king comes to h5, and now a, uh, g6 isn't going to be checkmate, but uh, g5 is going to be checkmate. So we'll bring our queen up and threaten queen to g5. And now the king is a knight's move away from both the king and the queen. There's no check there. And uh, what we've got here is uh, a position where the king can't move to any of the squares but it wants to. So always worry about what your opponent's next move is, especially if they don't have one. So this is the, this is the difficulty with this um, uh, type of uh, uh, checkmate. And you do often hear at the end of a game a wail from one or other player about st stalemate. And uh, you give away a win when you, uh, 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 and only get a draw when you should have won. There is a secret technique, it's not that secret, but there is a cunning technique, um, which I was first shown by a chap called Dave Scott, um, about how to avoid this, which I thought was rather neat. So we go back to our start position. And so instead of making a, uh, a fence, what you do is you move your queen so that it's a knight's move away from the king. All right, easy enough, well, fairly easy. 
and uh, in this position we can do it in one move um, but uh, when you move the queen so it's a knight's move away from the king and then you chase the king to the edge of the board and uh, you do that by copying the moves that the king makes so if the king moves forward you move forward if the king moves backwards you move backwards so here the king moves to the side and down we move to the side and down keeping a knight's move away forward 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 down and sideways down and sideways keeping a knight's move away king g7 and now the the king has only got moves to the side of the board so if the king moves to say g8 now that's the important moment that we talked about earlier the king has hit the side of the board and you need to find a, a, a square that will hold the king on the side of the board and give it a bit of space as well and in this case that's uh, d7 the king has got uh, a couple of squares to fidget about in so it's not going to be stalemate and we just race our king up the board and there's lots of uh, checkmates here uh, we'll just use this one okay do you get that um, <coughs> and uh, uh, that's all there is to it I think um, at, at, uh, when the king had the choice of going to the edge of the board on the other side it could, it could have moved to the right hand edge here what's the square that we need for this uh, for this position it's g4 and then uh, again we'll race our king up and then we can deliver checkmate this takes a little longer um, so it's slower uh, in terms of more moves but if all you're doing is copying exactly what black does it, you actually might be able to play it faster so you might use less clock time so i don't mind you doing that at all and uh, if that's uh, so i think that that may be a nice I a nice idea um, so there's two uh, methods of checkmating the king one of which is immune to stalemate so why not try that uh, just chase the king with the queen and then uh, uh, keeping a nice move away and then checkmate at the end that's all there is to it if you think you know one or other of those methods come and have a chat